Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got a fun video for you guys today. For anybody that plays Master Duel, you guys know that starting yesterday we have the Limit 1 uh, event. Basically, there is a new ban list for it. Also, you're only allowed to use one copy of any given card. Now, I wasn't sure what I wanted to play for this. I thought about playing Crystal Beast because they have seven different monsters. But, I had to go with my heart and I ended up wanting to play Cyber Dragon. Now, a couple strengths of Cyber Dragon. Um, there's a million different Cyber Dragons. I think there's seven. Cyber Dragon, Core, Hertz, Naxter, Veer, Dre, Proto. I didn't even, I forgot about Zwei. Zwei's also one, but I didn't even use that one. Um, I ended up making a Cyber Dragon deck and I was amazed at how well it works. Um, it works really well in this format because, you know, there's limited trap cards, limited hand traps. Yeah. Um, even the few board breakers that we have, it just plays so well to the fact that Cyber Dragon could just drop a couple cards and kill you. This is the build we're playing right now. I know it looks a little weird, but hear me out. All you really need to do is to get any Cyber Dragon and Chimera and you have an OTK. Or you can draw into the fusion spells. Uh, Magical Meltdown is my spicy tech. It lets you send a continuous a face of continuous spell card to the graveyard to draw two cards. Obviously, we're playing Summon Limit to slow our opponent down. We also have Cyber Network, which we can banish all our Cyber Dragons. And then you can play a Magic Planter, get rid of it, draw two cards, and get a full board. It's a dope little tech that I used to use back when Cyber Network was all we really had. And anyway, I've got some games for you guys. Honestly, the win ratio for this deck, I've already claimed all the gem rewards up to 12,000 points. I literally lost three times out of all the games I've played. It's crazy. And I've played against Eldritch, Sword Soul, uh, Branded, like all kinds of stuff that are that people try to match together in the game that just don't work because they don't have that kind of synergy. Anyway, enough for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Let's jump in and check out the gameplay. Alright, this first game, we were, I, I remember we were going second. Uh, as you see by our hand, we already have a shitload of options, but I end up making a pretty, some pretty bad misplays. But we still managed to get this W, I'll tell you right now, spoiler alert. So, Armor, Cyber, I ended up keeping putting that card in, attachment Cyber, I'm sorry. Because it can be attached to any of our Cyber monsters, even Cyber Dark Chimera, and it gets back a uh, monster from the graveyard. So, we summon Cyber Dark Chimera, we don't have any of our continuous spell cards, so I end up ditching the Magic Plan to get... Uh, power bond, but I messed up. I don't have a way to summon my cyber dragon. If I did, I would have had OTK because our opponent went first and just passed turn. You wouldn't believe how many times that's also happened. Because if they, if they don't have, with all the one ups, if they can't make a consistent enough build to just be able to make a board, a lot of times they have to pass turn and hope they can win on the second turn. So we just attach, attach with cyber and then we swing with Chimera. We didn't have a whole lot to go off with, so we just ended up passing that. Watch me face two out of that, but... <laughs> but, now, with what we have, we almost guaranteed game on the following turn. I was looking at Cyber Eternity just to double check the fusion materials, because I don't necessarily get to use that card that often. So, Lightning Storm is a monster. Chimera's effect. I decided to use it just to rip the kind of, um, the side of the couple cyber darks I have in the graveyard out of the deck. Um, the reason I'm running specifically those cyber darks, real quick, uh, obviously Cannon gets us Chimera. We're running two cyber dark spell cards, Rel, and Cybernetic Horizon. Obviously, Claw gets us into either one, which can either get us into a core or it can get us into Chimera to go for OTK. But once Chimera's out the deck. I don't really need the cannon anymore. The clock can still get me the spell cards, but again, we don't need we don't need rum anymore because all our cyber darks are gone. And horizon. So that's why I, I, I even though there was no reason to, I still use it to get those cards out of the deck because we don't need them anymore. Right. Our opponent goes. They set a monster after the lightning storm. See, this is what I mean. He, he lightning storm. He couldn't continue with a follow. -up. And then we draw, and we draw into Hurts. Literally, we could have drawn into any Cyber Dragon, and we have OTK on board. 
So we summon Hertz, use Beer's effect, summon Beer. And then we act I go with the Ultra Polymerization. So Ultra Polymerization, for anybody that doesn't know what it does, requires you to you have the Fusion Material on the board, which is the only downside to the card. Um, and you can only fuse two monsters that I have. But you fuse two monsters together for any fusion. Any fusion that you can make. And then you can banish it to bring back the materials. So you are you automatically get two more monsters back out. But all their effects are the game's effects go to zero. So because we sent Hearst to the grave, we got our, an OG Cyber Dragon. Then we do our Chimantic Rampage. We sent Proto Cyber Dragon and we sent Drive. I'm probably going to take out Proto Cyber Dragon for Zwei just because I forgot Zwei was a card. Now we use Ultra Poly to bring back the Hertz and the Veer. The only downside is they're not treated as Cyber Dragon because they're effective again. But we do so. We could have either. We could have either linked them off. In this case, we decide to use Power Bond and we get a Cyber Attorney Dragon because we have a Cyber Dragon in hand from the Hertz that we sent to the Dragon. So we have a uh, Rampage swinging twice, and uh, it would have been a 56 uh, Cyber Training Dragon, but our opponent decides to win. Now, the second game was another game where we went second. This time we didn't make as many misplays. <laughs> and now, look at this hand, too. Just the fact that we opened up a Repair Plant and, a, and any Cyber Dragon, it's really easy for us to get Veer into the graveyard and then go and start doing our circus and craziness. See, this, this is what I mean by inconsistencies. Our opponent is playing Tri Brigade. They dump Nerval, search this, and now they pass turn. They had no follow-up play. It's a lot harder to have follow-up plays with so many 1-0s. So we draw. Ice Dragon's Prison. We don't need Ice Dragon's Prison because we're playing on the end of the game here. We use Cyber Dark Club for what I mentioned earlier. We grab Cyber Dark Realm. We activate Cyber Dark Realm. Search Cannon. Because we're just going to ditch the cannon to get the camera. Just thinning out the deck a little more. Now we know we'll summon the Veer. Then we use Cyber Dark Realms. Additional normal summon. Summon Camera. We end up getting rid of the Overload Fusion because we don't have enough materials in the grave to even make use of the card. So, we got to grab the Power Bond, and then right now we can't really make any fusion besides Chimera Tech Over Dragon. Now, our opponent quit right there, but what we would have would have ended up doing is we would have linked the Veer and the Chimera into Seeger. And then because of Chimera's effect, we can use the Power Bond to, with the Seeger and the Veer in our graveyard to get a, a Cyber Tomb with 56. Or a Rampage if we really need to pop back row. So our opponent knew the game was over, so they just quit. But that was an example of just an easy OTK that you can do with almost any, any card to play. Because when we have all the search power, it's like having multiple copies of the cards. This hand is probably the worst one that we opened up with. And we were going first. So we end up using Chim uh, Cannon to grab Chimera. The reason I, I felt okay is because we also had the Bottomless and we had the Ash. Plus we have Ultra Polymerization and Overload. So if we need to start going Fusion Plays, we can. But I just set the Bottomless and I passed. I didn't want to waste the Chimera because I wanted to try attempt to surge the Power Bond. And I didn't want to summon Chimera just to have it get sniped out. Looking at this again, looking at this again, I probably should just play it in defense. I often forget that Chimera has swing in defense. So we get magical meltdown. So random, that's another one, another one that people, another engine people are using a lot is um, Alistair and the Evoker because meltdown gets Alistair, so you feel like you're having two Alistairs, and Alistair gets um, invoke invocation because invocation can make any fusion as long as the materials are in your hand. But we asked for some the Alistair because obviously I played against invoked a million times. Even though 
that was also technically a misplay because not realizing that this is, you know, a, a one of format, I could have asked the magical moment out and he would have not had the Alistair Kid. Chaos Space, my Digital Wyvern Buster. And grabs Collapse Dragon. Make this thing. Banish the light, summon the dark. I know that once he gets going, that's gonna be a loop. So I actually hit him with the bombless trap hole to get rid of uh, the dark dragon. Just to make it so it's you can't just keep on recycling them over and over again. Now he uses chaos space, bottom decks the wyvern buster, and draws a card. But he has that back, he doesn't get he doesn't get to keep recycling the dark dragon too. And now he doesn't have a dark in his graveyard to continue with. This was funny. He wasted a monster reborn to take I can the deal with the damage. He would have been better off saving that card. Because a monster reborn for 2600 damage is enough. I didn't think it was worth it. This was a fun turn. So, uh, for anybody that doesn't remember, Naxxer can special summon a monster from the graveyard with 2100 attack or 2100 defense. Chimera happens to have 2100 defense. So, I special summon, I actually special summon Naxxer by ditching Chimera. Naxxer comes out, and then Naxxer special summons Chimera back out. Now we're locked into only summoning machines from the extra deck. My entire extra deck is nothing but machines. I made sure to not put anything so I don't have to worry about getting locked out anything. We also activate Chimera's effect to dump uh, Claude out of deck just to get rid of it. Same as same reasoning as before. We already use Cannon and um, and Chimera. Eternity's basic. Uh, Realm is basically a dead card, and Horizon. You don't really need it. Something out. We attempt to use effects. This time we get rid of Ultra Polymerization because, again, Ultra Polymerization requires you to have two monsters on the board that you can use. We didn't have, we weren't going to have that. But our opponent has the Ash, so we don't get our final monster. So instead, double check our stuff. So obviously we can activate I was, I, it was that I can activate Overload Fusion Battles like what can I make so I was double checking my graveyard to see if I missed something so instead we link off it into Seeger and I'm going to show you guys another misplay that I made it was very sad I basically uh, basically the game isn't over this turn but it could have but we summon Seeger now we activate Overload Fusion Rampage, that's why we can get rid of Magical Meltdown. We banish our Seeger because Treat of Cyber Dragon. And our uh, Naxter, summon Rampage, pop Magical Meltdown. Now, as, as interesting as this turn's been so far, we have not normal summoned because we use Naxter's effect to summon both of the monsters. So, we get rid of Hurts, we get rid of Core. And we're able to add the core back to him. Uh, Almost on the core. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that, you know, obviously, Naxxer and Seeger aren't considered Cyber Dragon while they're banished. I was thinking I can go into Cyber Twin and I'll just end the game. No, it wasn't over. I should have picked a different card. I could have gone with a whole different line of play. 
but it's okay. We attack our three times at Rampage. I tried thinking if I went into Overdragon if I'd be able to get the kill, but we'd only be able to fuse four monsters, so he would only have a 16 and 32, which our opponent would survive. So instead we send the Seeker back, we send the Naxter back, and we send the Core back, and we make Sap return. It's got 2800 attack, but if they happen to kill Rampage first, it would gain all its protection, of course it doesn't have its protection. We need to dealt 28. Turn. Our opponent has, has two cards in hand plus their draw to get over both of our monsters. And again, it's a format of one of those. <laughs> She had uh, played against an opponent where they used Solemn Warning, uh, Solemn Judgment on me. Took away half their life points, and literally I swore down with a regular side of the dragon after damage step. I dropped a little bit again. But we dumped two light machines again. I should have waited till damage, till the damage step to activate this, but whatever. But now Chimera Tech Rampage is huge. We proceed to battle phase. We attack, we attack with Rampage. Just for the spice, we end up swinging with a turn dragon 56. And those are the three games for this video. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, like I said, I was surprised at how well the deck worked together. But we have all the fusion cards. As long as we usually only need one Cyber Dragon. We play two searches, so... One gets us into any Cyber Dragon, one gets us into the Light Machine. Core gets us into everything else. Like, it's just, it works so well together. Uh, all the different levels play with Overflow, amazing. You can get four pops or more. Uh, dry with a Cyber Dragon, Dry with Galaxy Soldier, Dry with Veer is a guaranteed infinity. It's just, it, it, I was in shock at how well it came out. I was just like, this will be fun, I'll try it out, see what happens. But yeah, I haven't had to play anything else for this, uh, for this, uh, event. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. You guys have any ideas? I can make it better. I've already thought about adding an electromagnetic and a turtle. Let me know anything else you guys think. If you guys want to check me out on social media, those links will also be down below. That's it for me. I'll see you guys on the next video. Later. We gon' go some when we pull out with the shares. How about the surface? We giving out them airs.